Hey guys, so we're going to do a layout CSS video here. I figure this is probably pretty high in demand. So we are going to make this layout, uh, well, some of this layout, uh, on, in CSS. It's very simple. It's actually pretty quick. But the main layout is, forget the top bar and the bottom bar. That's all separate stuff. We're going to make this one pane, two pane, three pane layout where the third pane flows as far as I want it to. Now, this website actually didn't do it right, as in they're using JavaScript to adjust it. We're going to do it all with CSS. You don't need JavaScript to do this technique. Okay? So the process is going to go. We're going to have three divs next to each other. They are not going to be floating. We're going to use position absolute. We're going to absolutely position this one, this one, and then this one. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So here's our code. So first thing we need to do is give ourselves a div that's going to surround all of our stuff. Then we're going to have our three divs. So div class equals, I'm going to call the first one people groups. Okay, there's the first one. And then we're going to have two more, so I'll just copy and paste these. Boom and boom. And then we're going to give this people list. And then people content. Okay, so there's our three. So now we need to head over to the CSS. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to understand that in order to do any kind of absolute layout, the parent element, okay, needs to be static, not relative. It can't be relative positioned. And I'll show you why in a minute, but let's just set our parent, which is content, to uh, position static. And, and I'm doing position static because mine, my code already sets the parent to relative. So I'll explain this more in a second. Don't worry. Next thing is we're going to style that, and then we're going to style people lists, and then we will style that people content. So all three are going to be position absolute, and they're all going to have a top, a left, and a bottom. Bottom is key here. We need it to stretch all the way to the bottom of the page. So all three are going to have these difference is that this last one is also going to have a right okay right of zero pixels that will stretch the last one all the way to the right side of the page so uh, on my page here's a page that we're going to be editing so we need to start it from the top of the page so the appropriate amount of pixels we're going to use our ruler here is about 70 pixels from the top and we'll go ahead and measure the bottom which is about 20 pixels from the bottom so 70 from the top, 20 from the bottom, and that's all three of them. So top is 70 pixels, top 70 pixels, and oops, semicolon, top 70 pixels, and then bottom we said was 20 pixels. 20 pixels and 20 pixels. Now, let's talk about the left. So this one's gonna be all the way pushed to the left side, that's zero. Each div, the, each of the two, this div and this div are both 250 pixels. That's a set width. So we will actually set that width, 250 pixels, which means this one has to be 250 pixels to the left, as in pushing it out 250 pixels. This one also has a width of 250 pixels, which means that this last one needs to have a left of 500 pixels. So it's 250, 250, 500. For style, let's uh, actually set a background color. We'll do uh, red, blue, and green. Red, blue, and green to take a look at this. And if we take a look, we can see we don't see anything. Okay, so what we're dealing with here is that, um, I was gonna show you this later, but it's happening right now. Uh, we're, this actually isn't being applied right now. Dot content is too general of a selector, so it's not being applied to the page. And this is what happens if you don't have position static on the parent, nothing. So we, we need this to apply. So we'll make it a more specific selector by, ax, by saying div.content, which is the same selector being used in another style sheet. This will overwrite it. So now, and we actually have a spelling mistake. This needs to be list, not lists. When we save and refresh that, now you can see we have our tri-pane layout exactly how we want it with this stretching the whole page, which is perfect, okay? So we've got fixed stuff at the top, fixed stuff at the bottom, and a tri-pane layout. And again, the key to making it all possible was making sure that our parent is static, that we have a width and a bottom set for each of our guys, and that we move our left out 250 pixels each time to move it out. So that is how you create a standard layout or a fixed layout with a fluid area.